This is a short video that shows you when and how to use product types in BrightPearl. So here's the list of product types, and you can get to this screen from Setup, Products and Inventory, and then Product Types. This particular account has got a number of types in here, clothing, complete bikes, components, drink bottles, and so on. You can also see the product types from the Products menu. If you click Products, List by Type, and here they are. If you click any one of these, it'll show you all of the products of that type. So why might you want to use product types? Product types exist mainly to help you organize your options. So here we've got shoe size, color, waist size, and helmet size as different product options. But we don't want to assign helmet size to things that are not helmets. So only helmets can have a helmet size. Trousers, however, can have color and waist size. Shoes can have a shoe size and color. And these at the top, these three items here, are product types. So what we do is we create a product type and then we assign the options that are valid for that particular product type. When we add a product type in BrightPearl, you can see that on the right hand side of the screen, you can select which options are valid for it. In a similar way, when creating or editing product options, and here we've got helmet size, we can choose which product types it's available for. So helmet size can only be assigned to helmets. The product type is used when you're creating variants for an item. So here we're creating a new product called a bike helmet of product type helmet. Let's save this item and then create variants. Because the product type is helmet, you can see that we've only got a limited set of options, including helmet size and fit. So we've got loose and tight and then adult and child. You can assign product types to products either on the product edit screen one at a time, or you can use the batch update from the product list. So here we've got a range of products, the 2011 722 RS, and that's a bike. So I can select this product, and then from this menu, set the product type. If I choose a product type here of complete bike, it's actually going to update all of the other variants in the same product group, because all variants have to have the same product type. So there you can see that the product type has been updated for all 13 variants of this particular item. Once all of your products have a product type, then you can make use of the Sales Analysis by Product Type report, which is under the Reports menu, Sales by Product Type. And this shows our most popular product types. And of course, just like the other reports, we can filter by any number of attributes. And this is a great high-level view of what's going on in the business. And we recommend that you don't create more than 50 product types. If you want to categorize your products much further with greater granularity, then use the product category, which can be hierarchical, in other words, nested like a tree. And one final point is you can't import a product type. So if you wanted to update products by spreadsheet, what we recommend is creating a custom field called product type, then filtering your products by that custom field, and then from the filtered product list, use the batch update feature. So we've just covered what product types are. They're used to organize product options and prevent users from creating products with the wrong options. And that's particularly useful if you've got lots of different types of sizes, perhaps shoe size, dress size, waist size, and so on. Much better to create specific options and then assign them to product types than have everything bundled under one option called size. So you can set the product type on the product edit screen for one product at a time or you can batch update product types in bulk from the product list. And then once you've set your product types, use the sales analysis by product type report for some real business insight. And that's all you need to know about Bright Pearl product types.